first and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, all the true holy black Messiah, the King of Kings, world to himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, all to the final fathers, the true father, one west, the fallen kings, come right up and get you another lesson. Um, the name of this lesson is Edom Know His Time Is Up. Um, I was watching this new Candyman movie. I advise you, brothers and sisters, go out there and see it. This movie is, towards the end, is very spiritual, man. And it's like Esau is putting, this truth is really affecting Esau, man, because it's like, I don't want to do a spoiler alert, but you, you, they showing glimpse of the true image of the Lord. They showing that it's going to be a recompense for all the evil they have done. So Esau know his time is up. I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures real quick, and I'm gonna wrap it up. This is the book of Isaiah, and when you read the book of Isaiah, um, spiritually you will understand that um, this is the goes into prophecy, fruit of prophecy. And what is the testimony of Yahweh Shah? The spirit of prophecy. So I'm going to start with the book of Isaiah. It says, Who is this that's coming from Edom with dyed garment from Bosporus? That is glorious in his apparel, traveling the greatness of his strength. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. And you can look in the movie where they try to mimic. Because most of these, man, most of these Hollywood directors, man, they get it. They get all their movies directly from the Bible anyway. So you can tell that this character, Candyman, was like a recompense for all the wickedness and evil that white supremacy project. Uh, I, and, and it was so heavy because uh, like he, he's slaughtering his enemies, his his garments is dipped in blood. It's like it's like a replica of, of what they trying to paint a picture from the Bible. So they can't write out and say that Yahweh Shah coming for the Israelites or else they're in their kingdom. So they put stuff in the um in a um a, a, a unrealistic character like Candyman to try to act out the Bible. Let me get a second scripture real quick. This is the book of Revelations. Um 14 verse 20. In the wine press, Jehovah Shah when he returned, and the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horse's bridle, by the space of a thousand and six thousand forlongs. And what this pretty much going to is when the Lord can return, it's going to be so much slaughter. We just read that in the book of Isaiah. It says, who is this coming from Edom with dyed garments from Bosporus? It's going to be so much bloodshed that it's going to rise up to the horse's bridle. I mean, it's going to be so much blood, it's going to be ridiculous. And what you see in this movie, it, it depicts of, uh, of a black savior coming back to get revenge on his enemies. And that's what I got from this film. This film is very spiritual when you go into it. I advise you, brothers and sisters, to go see it. And uh, let me get another scripture, and I'm going to get ready to close it out. This is Book of Psalms, chapter 64, Salakia, 64, verse 8. It says, So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. And that's what you're seeing here. That's why would you make a movie of bringing out Candyman for a recompense? And then you put the true image, the color of Christ, in the movie. When you read that depiction of the movie, so this truth is coming out and let me go right back to the scripture it says it's a song chapter 68 verse 6 to 64 verse 8 it says so so they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves and all that the sea shall flee away the reason why all the other nations are going to flee away because they don't want to feel the wrath of yahweh i want to give all honor praise and glory to the most high yahweh all the true holy black messiah the king of kings royal to himself yahweh shah amashiach also the final father true father one west father but not forgotten shalom